If Hydra wants a straight up fight, then I say give them everything you've got. Not a problem. Maybe you can give them a lesson they won't forget. I will do as you ask. Done yet. They do not seem to be a match for us. Fails! 
Time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That time has clearly passed. It is time. their lesson. Ooh, magic surprise party is nearly upon us. Party is prepped, and everyone did their part, and I'm not even stressing about it. <laughs> that Parker guy is chatty, but he worked fast and made the time fly. That is good to hear. 
Oh, it's nearly time. Head to the party, wait with the others. I'll bring magic, you yell surprise when we walk in, and then the party is on! I will head there now. Surprise! Uh, surprise? Oh my, what a surprise. Happy birthday? I had no idea. Just me, or is Magic not having a good time? I heard Magic does not like surprises. No, that can't be it. We're friends. I'd know if that was true, right? I don't get it. Everyone loves surprise birthday parties. I should know. I missed out on a few when I was on the run. Why are you so concerned? Wanda is gone. Bruce Banner is fighting for the other team, and the world's going to actual hell if we don't stop it. A birthday party is a good way to lift everyone's spirits. I'm sure we can fix this. You mind letting her know it's time to cut the cake? Sure. Okay, I'll be right there. Hmm. What concerns you? What? You do a... a thing when you're concerned. Steven, I don't do a thing. You just did. I heard you. I spent untold centuries identifying and removing all my tells in battle and conversation. If I did a thing, it wouldn't be so obvious. As you say. What a delightful distraction. Though I find my work at the Forge invigorating, the occasional entertainment prevents burning out. It is good to take a break when you can. Oh, I meant literal burning from the inside out. One of the hazards of manipulating Hellfire. I haven't been to a... This all came together nicely. Are you surprised? Somewhat. Nico's plans get ahead of her, at times. But this is... it's quite pleasant. From everything I'd heard about the Abbey, I hadn't expected it to be so festive. What did you hear? Just the basics from Tony and Carol. They made it sound like a wayward home for troubled youths. Do you believe that? So far, I see heroes throwing a birthday party for one of their teammates. It's what the Avengers used to do before we got so busy. Treasure these moments. They'll keep you going when times are tough. Been a while since we've been able to let loose. The Avengers, you mean? Yeah, we've been busy. We see far too much of each other, and yet nowhere near enough. I can't stop thinking about Bruce. I want to hate him for what he did, but I keep wondering if this was our fault. He always gets into trouble when he's alone. Did we blow him off? Did he reach out, but we missed it? I don't know. Yes, that might be what happened. Do not let it happen with the others. Yeah, I'm not always the best with interpersonal stuff. Doesn't mean I can't get better at it. <sighs> Enough of my moping. I'm going to enjoy this party. I suggest you do the same. Or go for cake, right? Soon. And save some for the rest of us. No promises. I prefer smaller parties. My last birthday had 2,000 guests. How do you know thousands of people? I wouldn't say I know them. Most of them are business flunkies, glad handers, general hangers on. Half the night I'm shaking hands and managing expectations. I spend so much time as Mr. Stark, I'm lucky if I get to be Tony. 2,000 guests? What do you do with all the presents? No presents. I don't even know how to shop for me. Did you get her anything? A uh, gift card? Uh, Tony! What do you get the Queen of Limbo? Uh, if he doesn't know, how was I supposed to guess? 
This is great. I wish the other heroes did stuff like this. Celebrate birthdays? Yeah. I guess it's difficult when you don't know each other's real names, or actual birthdays, which would completely invalidate our secret identities. But why are we talking about this when there's cake to cut? You know what they call this? The calm before the storm. What makes you say that? Just a feeling. This party was a great idea. Maybe it'll cheer up the Avengers. You think so? It's a party, right? I hope it helps them feel at home. the things to use magic for. What? Are you all right? No, this is too much. It is all Nico's fault. And here she comes, to fish for praise. I have endured enough of this. This has gone on long enough. You made me the center of attention I do not need at a party I did not want. So what do you want now? To cut the cake? Magic, wait. Fine! I will cut the cake! Happy birthday? Always wanted to do that. Do what? Smash a birthday cake so hard it explodes. Why would you want to do that? I have complicated feelings about my birthday. So why haven't you? Smash a cake someone made for me? That's just rude. You could bake your own cake. Doesn't have the same appeal. Carol. Steve. For your next birthday, I'm baking you a cake. Do go on. You have my blessing to smash it into space. But then we're down a birthday cake. I'll bake two. Second one's for eating. And that's why you're Captain America. Captain America. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on Tony's face. Or the icing, if I can aim it right. Liliana's my friend. How could I have missed this? You should not blame yourself. Then why not? If I paid attention to what she wanted, I wouldn't have driven her away. I want to fix this, but I, I can't follow her to Limbo. Although... Maybe you could? Tell me what I need to do. The Staff of One can bring you close to her. When you find her, could you talk to her? Make sure she's alright? That's all I care about. Is this a one-way trip? It shouldn't be. Once you find magic, she can open a portal to send you back. Hopefully, both of you. What is the best way to approach magic? I feel like I'm the last person you should ask. I'm sure the others have some advice. How different will this be from our usual trips through Limbo? I know as much as you do. 
The landscapes might be trippier than usual. All right. Send me after magic. Okay. Here goes nothing. When blood is shed, let the staff of one emerge. Was it me? Did I mess up? I messed up, didn't I? It is all your fault. Really? Of course not. Good. Okay. Well, I don't know her at all, but she seems really cool. And it's still a party until I hear otherwise. If you think it'll help, tell her I'll stick around. I'm guessing this is out of character for magic? Yes, I think so. Hmm. Well, good luck bringing her back. Any advice? A friend of mine gets overwhelmed like that. Tough love doesn't work. Neither does unwanted advice. Basically, don't do what I always do. That'll just make it worse. Poor kid. Is there anything I can do to help? I could use some advice. My gut says this isn't a clash of personalities. Magic's fighting her own demons. Nico happened to catch some friendly fire. Thanks. I will keep that in mind. I'll leave you to it. Good luck, Hunter. To Limbo, then. I caution you. This shall not resemble the leisurely jaunts you take from the wild cliffs. Any pointers? If you find yourself upon a path, do not stray from it. Especially if someone or something encourages you to do so. And, uh, bring some hand sanitizer. Few realize our reality is the least, let's say, sticky. I was afraid this would happen. I will bring her back. I know. When you find her, make sure she knows the Abbey will always be a home to her. Thanks for doing this. Any questions, or are you ready to go? I need a moment. I want to see what the others have to say. Can't hurt to ask. Tell me when you're ready, and I'll send you to Limbo. And I'm in the business of granting wishes. Tell me, why does your heart ache? They forgot. Today is my... my... Oh, sweetly. Your birthday. What an awful way to learn what your family truly thinks of you. They don't love me. Nobody does. I can bring you to a magical kingdom. Make you its queen, loved by all in its domain. But you have to wish it so. I could never be as special as a queen. Now, now. That's a lie your family would tell you. I have to know you're a very special girl. Before we go, I have a question. Of course. Ask me anything, my queen. Are... are you a monster? Oh, child. I'm so much more than that. I'm a friend. The only one you'll ever need.
house in limbo. What is this place? It is not possible to enter Limbo without my knowing. How did you get here? Nico used the Staff of One. Of course. And why did she not come herself? She thought it would make things worse. Well, that makes two of us. Wait, if you found your way to this place... What did you hear? Well, I think I know why you hate your birthday. My deepest shame. You are the first beyond myself to know this. The first person, at least. The creature you heard brought me here. But my childish needs cursed me to this terrible place. I lost my childhood to one bad choice. I trusted a silver tongue instead of my own family. I want to know who did this to you. I did this to myself. The creature held no power over me until I allowed it. This day is an anniversary of my weakness. Nothing more. You cannot let this build up inside you. You have to share it. Now I have, and there is little more to say. <sighs> I should stay here this evening. I can endure the stares and whispers, but not tonight. We could hang out here if you want. I... I would like that. Do you like the music? I do. Hmm. Good. Why do you ask? This was the only music I had for so long. I found it in Limbo. Trash, discarded by the universe. This is a diamond in the rough. Maybe. But to someone, it was trash. Even now, I only listen at meaningful times, when I wish to remember the moment. There are more of those now, but not enough to outweigh the days I want to forget. Hunter, can we stay here for a time? Listen to the music? Of course. <laughs> Good. I'm not smiling. I am pleasantly surprised. We are not besties yet, but we are getting there. Could you tell me about the creature you mentioned? Something I hope you never have the misfortune to meet. I can't say no more. Why not? It hears when you speak its name. I refuse to give it this satisfaction. What happened to it? An eviction, of sorts. A permanent one? 
That is my hope. Why does this look like your room in the Abbey? It doesn't. My room in the Abbey looks like this one. For years, this was the only place in Limbo where I was safe. Where I felt at home. The creature said many strange things about you. How much was true? None. All were lies to manipulate a stupid child. The creature brought me here to rule this place, but not as I do now. It desired a servant. Loyal, unthinking. A stupid child who believed its lies. I took great pleasure in disappointing it. I should get going. I will open a portal for you. Good night, Magic. See you, Hunter. I should get going. See you, Hunter. You were gone for so long. Did you find magic? I did. She is going to spend the night in Limbo. Is she doing all right? Is she... mad at me? She is still angry, but mostly at herself. Why? This was all my fault. I guess... I'll talk to her tomorrow. She is coming back, right? She will be back tomorrow. I can't thank you enough for doing this. Don't know how this would have ended without you. Good night, Hunter. Good night, Nico. You have not set anything on fire today, have you? Sorry, dear. Hope I didn't startle you. Hunter, you saw her, didn't you? Wanda. What does she want? What we all want. To be found. But Sarah does not want to find her. I will always love Sarah. Even her stubbornness, even her rigidity, even when she's wrong. And she is wrong this time. She still blames Wanda for my death. How do I convince her Wanda is still out there? You can't. Sarah won't believe it until she sees Wanda with her own eyes. I know you didn't know Wanda, but I did. She's family, Hunter. We cannot leave her behind. Besides, we can't win this battle against your mother without her. So find her, Hunter. Bring her back. For all our sakes. 
What are you doing here, Hunter? You need to find the Midnight Suns and save Wanda. And you need to do it now. the street is that the Abbey just got a massive shipment of artisan sodas. I thought we could throw a couple back, like partners on the force in one of those buddy cop movies. Throw back? Ah, yes, like a toast? Agatha was quite fond of them. Bad idea. Know any good ones? Well, my Asgardian is quite rusty, but I suppose I could try. Of course, I would need some sort of goblet to throw into the mirror. And a nice sharp axe for the bl How about I go first just to set a nice safe benchmark? So, what flavor soda can I get you? There is more than one flavor? Oh, yeah. There's Thor's Thirst, Black Widow Bubbles, Loki Lime, Radioactive Rock and Berry. Radioactive what? You know what? You just chill there, and I'll pick one out for you, partner. Ah, Hunter, good to see you. Perhaps someday, when this is all over, we can tour the more interesting pocket dimensions together. I've always found the Halls of Fear to be an invigorating trip. Have you seen any of the Midnight Suns? I need to speak to them. I think I overheard Blade talking about how he was going to the chapel, which is weird. I didn't think vampires could go into churches or chapels or whatever. See what I know about the supernatural. Hope he doesn't think Carol is gonna meet him there. Thank you, Peter. No problemo. Hope you find them. <laughs> 